back downstairs to the outdoor stage where we're going to learn a little more about the leading two-year-old pacing sire in North America. Captain Treacherous, Myron Bell is with Nick Salvi. Thanks, Gabe. I am with Myron Bell, who's enjoying reaping the rewards from Captain Treacherous' first crop. Nick, it's a great pleasure to be at the Red Mile again and be with you, my friend Nick. Thank you, Myron. The captain is off to a phenomenal start, and we're just very, very excited about his two-year-old year and his upcoming sales. Well, anybody would be. He was a terrific racehorse and special to you and Stephanie and everybody that was associated with him. And you never really know when a horse goes to stud. I mean, you gave him a great opportunity. He bred a great book of mares, and you hope that he's going to be what you dream, and it's turning out like maybe even better than you expected. Well, anytime you get a phenomenal stallion like Captain, uh, you're very blessed. We have great partners, George Siegel, Marvin Katz, Joe Sabraco, and the great syndicate behind them. They bred tremendous mares to him this year and the next three years, so he's got a full book coming for the next two years after this year, and of course, uh, a lot of people are going to be buying shares in Captain and breeding to him in the 2019 season. And you've got more than a few, you and Tony Alanya, who's training your, your Pacers this year, more than a few that you're going to watch race here at the Red Mile. Well, we, we have a filly that won the She's a Great Lady Saturday up at Mohawk, a tall drink Hanover that the shoe farm bred, and we're very happy to purchase her. And we had a little uh, uh, bump in the road on Saturday. We had an undefeated colt, Captain Ahab, that was a little sick on us Saturday. He won seven in a row, and uh, he'll be back next Saturday, hopefully, and race here. Yeah, we'll get to see Captain Ahab, hopefully, next week, and then on to the Breeders' Crown with the group. But before you get to the Breeders' Crown, you got some business to do up the street at Fasig Tipton next week. Well, I hope to have uh, my, my blocks in order to try to buy a few captains. They're gonna, they're gonna be a little more expensive this year when they, than last year. But uh, we, there's some very nice colts and fillies in the sale, and hopefully we'll be able to purchase a few. And aside from all the success with the, the two-year-olds by Captain Treacherous, another horse that's having a good season is American History. We're going to get to see him Sunday here at the Red Mile. American History is in a very big role right now. He happens to be racing against his stable mate, Stay Hungry. Uh, it should be a hell of a race. And we have another sleeper colt in the other division, Rush to Judgment, who's in the news every day, it seems like everybody's talking about rushing to judgment. And he's a, he's a very nice American ideal cult. And we've got a couple of nice two-year-olds, Captain Trevor and Captain McKee, named for our late great friend Sam McKee. And I believe he's in the second race tomorrow night, and he's a pretty nice cult. So Myron, after uh, a lifetime of kicking around and being associated with Mr. Siegel and Brittany Farms and a lot of great horses. The Captain Treacherous is, is kind of the pinnacle after all those years. Well, people say enjoy it because you'll never have another one like Captain Treacherous, but I believe one of his, in, in order to be a great sire, you've got to produce a stallion or uh, you've got to produce a colt as good if not better than he is. And right now we're on a good roll here and I think he's got some on the ground that could maybe rival him, hopefully, in one day. Right, you gotta move on. Myron, I, I know you'll enjoy the next couple of weeks here with your friends, the races and the sales. It's a great time to be in Kentucky. The, the, oh, come on down, it's the greatest it's place the in the world place right there. now. It's, thanks for taking a couple of minutes to talk with Thank us. Thank you for having me, Nick, I appreciate it. Gabe, back to you.